Hi, welcome to my biology class. Today let's go with Ascalmanthus. And they are otherwise called as nematodes or nematalmanthus. Simply they are round worms. So when you take a cross section, a typical round can be seen under the microscope. So this is the round worm. And, uh, and they, uh, they are uh, free living, parasitic, and they are terrestrial, they are aquatic. And uh, the very striking feature when compared to the previous category here is sexually dimorphic. They are male and female worms are separate. That is the one thing. And then here, uh, this is also triploblastic. The triploblastic condition has started from Platyhelminthus. Uh, and here it is a pseudo shilomic animals, uh, like they've got a patches of mesoderm. It's not like uh, the previous case. Uh, neither the, the next one like analytes and here there is a patch of a, a mesodermal layer with the pseudo shilomic condition and that is the uniqueness of ascalmanthus and uh, let's start with the habitat uh, right from so there are parasites or free living free living shinorbididens elegans goes with and body form cylindrical thread like thread worms you can say the pin worm or hook worm or uh, whichever category you take uh, they are all like a thread thread may be see generally the the male will have a curvy thread like uh, the the tip will be the anus will have a curve and the female will have a pointed end that is the uh, basic uh, difference between male and female and when you talk about the symmetry bilateral symmetry triploblast pseudo shilomates and organ system level so some some of the organ systems have developed here well let's discuss and body wall, body wall is uh, non-living scleroprotein cuticle like uh, they are mostly uh, parasitic forms and uh, they don't have a very thick uh, exoskeleton like any calcareous shell like that but the cuticle has got some thickness uh, with the scleroprotein and uh, they've got a synchytial epidermis so synchytial means a cell with multinucleate condition that is seen here in the muscular layers the muscles are present uh, for the moment and the digestion so digestion is complete here they've got a mouth and they've got an anus but one small thing is here the intestine is non-muscular so there is no any musculature there in it's a kind of a straight tube and the foot goes via that but uh, it is complete with two holes top and bottom and hydroskeleton hydroskeleton in the sense i said it is a pseudo shilomic animal so they've got a shilom shilomic fluid which runs throughout it transport the content and it gives the shape and that makes the animals to move also and excretion excretion is very special here and there are different uh, rennet gland is present in aquatic uh, animals free living animals and they've got a protonephros. Protonephros in the sense, uh, the upper part of the nephron, like only the glomerular filtration. In future, it is a glomerulus. But here, it is called uh, like a nephrostome here. It, it goes like this. And here, it will be like. There is no proximal and distal convoluted tubule and all that. But there is a special device for filtering. And there is a intracellular excretory tubules. All this can collect the things from the cell directly and with the help of this uh, and there is excretory pore which is present very close to the mouth in case of an ascaris uh, and they are all ammonotelic mostly they release uh, ammonia but when you talk about the ascaris they release both ammonia as well as urea and nervous system nervous system also uh, a bit uh, developed than the previous cases but in previous cases we have seen that uh, uh, planaria has got uh, a dorsal and ventral nerve uh, thing was going and then there is a connection like a ladder shape here also there is a circumpharyngeal ring see just close to the eusophagus there is a formation of ring like so if this is the Warm, and you can see that there is a circum, uh, this is the cords, and they form a ring like structure. And here, so that's what. And here, anterior and posterior longitudinal nerves it just goes and take the stimulus like forward and backward, like it moves on. So, it's almost a system kind with the uh, ganglions well developed with the pharyngeal ring like things are formed and it is collected into the tip and here especially in enterobias 
and you can see the cephalic uh, expansion a small expansion like cephalum kind of a thing cephalum means head head kind of a thing has started coming so it seems that in future all the ganglions would be collected on the top that that was a uh, uh, evolutionary significance moving from lower to higher category all this we discussed in uh, evolution of organ system so here there is a cephalization kind but it is not a typical cephalum and when you talk about a sensory organ see when there is a nervous system sometimes in planaria and all the nervous system uh, started uh, with the ladder like and all but the sense organs they were just lagging with but here the sense organs different sense organs the has made us there for a sense of the chemicals and they've got a bristles and small pits or papillae a small outgrowth and all that will sense what's happening around the uh, body and they, they sense the environment accordingly they move ahead and uh, the reproduction so reproduction is very special see when the animal exhibits uh, the dimorphism sexual dimorphism it's a higher category so here the male and female differences there generally the male will have a curvy end and the female will have a pointed straight it will go with uh, and also in case of enterobias you can see a kind of a spicule a copulatory spicule to penetrate into the female and so obviously you can have a internal fertilization that goes with uh, and they release the egg with the uh, chitinous shell so it is a protective covering for an egg so the death rate uh, can be managed and development development is either direct or uh, indirect development it goes with uh, and uh, the larva stages larva stages are uh, different in different forms uh, like we could have heard about uh, filariasis elephantiasis microfilaria larva from Ucheriria bankrafti and the Ascaris limbricoides you can have a, a rhabdidiform larva the name differs uh, and the filary form in ancyclostoma so the larva differs and also uh, some of the species here uh, complete their life cycle within one host or some will carry on with two host so they are digenetic or they are monogenetic and that's it about uh, this Ascalmanthus and uh, very special about this in the sense then uh, uh, it is uh, uh, pseudo shilomic animals uh, and there is no segment in their body and the larva names are important and uh, you know, the male and female sexually dimorphic and this is the uh, striking features in this form and if you have any doubt on this you please put it in the comment section thank you subscribe and share please